Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, a channel where I try and showcase the fun that could be had in the world of Variant Sudoku. And today I'm going to be doing that with a puzzle called Medieval Warfare by Fast Sandals. And I need to start this with a real apology. This I'm recording this in September 2025, but this puzzle was submitted to me in December 2024. And the reason that this is much more of a a failure on my part than normal is Fast Sandals when this was submitted is was 11 years old now odds are Fast Sandals has had a birthday since then but to get a puzzle that was submitted by an 11 year old and to have that sit in my queue for nearly a year is just unforgivable so I'm apologizing but I'm not expecting forgiveness um, I'm really sorry to Fast Sandals and to Fast Sandals father Timotab for sitting on this one for way too long um, now, I have a vague memory of actually trying to solve this one back in um, when this was first submitted and not being able to, but I'm going to try and do it again. Now, this puzzle, uh, it's possible that the reason, the um, it's also possible that this came in as two puzzles, and it's possible that the reason I didn't do it is I wasn't sure how to do two puzzles when one of them was literally listed as like a one and a half minute solve, so um, which is not this puzzle. It's This came in as with a six by six and then a four by four as well. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to try and record this one and then I'm going to try and do the four by four just as a bonus. Even if I don't try and do, uh, which will come in as after this, just I'll add it to the end. Even if I don't do that, I will provide a link to both puzzles below. The other thing I will provide a link to is... Um, to Far Sandals has a solving queue where he solves puzzles on Timotab's uh, YouTube channel, and I'll provide a link to that playlist below. But what we really should be focusing on, apart from my big apology, um, I'm really sorry, um, is the puzzles. So um, this is Medieval Warfare. Let's go through the rules. We have normal six by six Sudoku rules apply. So in every one of these two by three regions, as well as into every row and into every column, the digits one to six must be placed without repetition. Fortress, which is a rule that I always struggle with, which is these gray cells are fortress cells and digits that are placed in a fortress cell must be larger than any non-gray orthogonally adjacent cell. So you can consider it as being like there's a thermo pointing into these cells from every white or um, every non-gray orthogonally adjacent cell. So this cell must be larger than this, larger than this, and larger than this. This cell must be larger than this, this, and this. This cell must be larger than this this, this, and this. Um, and then digits on an arrow must sum to the value in the attached circle. So the sum of those two digits goes there, the sum of those three digits goes there, same for all the other arrows. They're the rules of the puzzle. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. I just got a notification from OBS, but it seems to be working. Okay, so what do we have? So for example here, the minimum here is one, two, and the minimum here is one. So the minimum of the sum of those digits is four. So this has to be four, five, or six, but this can't be a six because this has to be larger. So this is only four or five, and we're only using the digits one through six. So this has to be five or six. It's probably this arrow because this needs at least two digits lower than it. So this is a minimum of three. So this is three, four, or five. Now this can't be a five, surely, because if this is a five, I'd be adding at least one digit here and one digit here. So five plus one plus one is seven, and this would need to be a seven. So this can't be a five. This is only a three or a four. And minimum, and well, this needs to be lower than four. So this is one, two, or three. And this is one, two, three, four, or five. But I don't think this could be that high because the minimum here is four so with one and three. And this is a maximum of six. So this is actually a maximum of two because the minimum here is three plus one. So the with the minimum here of four, this has a maximum of two. And if this is three, this would be in three and four and this would already be seven. This can't even be three. This is also a one or a two. But I could go two, three, one, and that would be six, and that would be fine. This has to be lower than this. So this is one, two, three, because it has to be lower than this. But the minimum here now is one plus three plus one. So this is five or six. And these can't both be two. Because if these were both two, that that would be four plus three, and this would need to be a seven. So one of those is a one. So this can't be a one, because if this was a one, both of those would be forced to be two. I'd have two plus two plus three, and this would be a seven. So this is a two or a three. 
Does that force this up? Mm, not sure. Because if this was a... T well, if this is three, four, that's a one. And if this is a two, that's a... W oh, that's cool. If this is a three, this is a four. And these are both forced to be one. But if this is a two, that's a one. So either way, that's a one. Which doesn't put any pressure on that whatsoever. And these now have to sum to four with one, three, or five with one, four, or two, three. But that means one is on one of those two, and one is on one of those two. And one is on one of those two. Oh, that digit. Where is this digit in this box? This digit has to go in this box somewhere. It can't go on its own arrow. It's not two or three, and it can't go in its own column. This is the yellow five, six. So five, six is down here. Could this be the yellow five, six? If this was five, one, six, yeah, I think that is possible. Hang on, what's the maximum that could be? The maximum, this, this is now a two, because the minimum these could be is one, two, summing to three, and the maximum this can sum to is five. So this has to be a two now, I think, because if this was a three, the, this would have to be three with one, two, summing to six, and this would have to be a six, and this would have to be larger than six. So this is two with one, two, and these are now three plus two, which is five, and this is a six. So five and six are in here. So yellow is one of those two. This is yellow. This is the yellow five, six, because yellow can't go in any of those and five, six can't go in any of those. That's a yellow five, six. This is now a three, four. So these are five, six, and this is the yellow five, six. This is the other five, six. Do I want to give that a color? Don't know. But these are one, three, and four, and this has a one on it because of the one, two here. So this is either one, three, something to four, or one, four, something to five. This is only one, two, or three, because it has to be lower than that. Two is up here, interestingly enough. Okay, let's give this a color. Let's call it green. The green five, six must be in here because none of these can be five or six. These because of the arrow, this because of the fortress. So the green five, six is in here. So where's the green five, six in this box? It's in one of those two, but this can't be the green five, six. Because if this was five, I'd have to go five, one, six, and these would be five and six, which would break that cell. So this is actually the green five, six. So these are from one, three, four, because they can't be two. And can that be, I think that could be yellow. Yellow is in one of those two. And it's either a six here or a five here. Five is in one of those three and six is in one of those three. Oh, we know this is a one because purple is there. Hang on, is that right? No, 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 no. That, that is wrong. Those are not the same digit. What I was saying is that those, one of those two had to be a one. If this is a three, this is two, that's one. If this is four, if this is a three, that's a two and that's a one. If this is a four, that's a one. This is also always the one. So this isn't a one. So this can't be a five now. 
In fact, it can't, yeah, this can't be a five now. In fact, this is quite restricted. But this can't be the yellow. This is the yellow down here, which means it's six and yellow becomes six and green becomes five. Oh, that's very cool. I can just get rid of all the coloring. And there is a five in one of those two. This now is either three plus two or four plus one. Surely I can finish all the fives and sixes now. Five is in one of those two. I've got all the sixes. Six is one plus one plus four. So this is a five, which is one plus four. So this is a three. One, two, three. This is a four. So these are two and three. So one, two, three, four. This is the five. So this is the two, three. This is two, three or four. The five looks down saying that's not the five. That's the five. This is a three or a four because one, two, five, six. This is three or four. And these are one, two, three, four. There's no one here. Uh, okay, the fortress here is done. The fortress here is done. The fortress here is done. This arrow is done. This arrow is done. This arrow is done. So I've only got this arrow to solve it. One, two, three, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, four, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two. So it's got to be this arrow. This is either one, four, or two, three. If it's one, four. If this is one and this is four, the four would put four here. One here would put one here. One here. One here. Ah, there's the problem. If one is here, it makes this four, but one here in this box puts one here. So we end up with one here, one, one here knocks one out of here and puts one here. But one here would put four here by the five total, and this would be one four and break that cell. There's no three in this row. So this can't be a one, or these become one four, and there's no three in row four. So this has to be a two, meaning this is the three. Taking three out of all of those, the two looks up like making that the one, that the three, that the two, making that the three and that the two. Um... The one makes that the four and that the two. The two and the three look down, making that the four, making that the three. There's no one in this box. The one looks across, making that the two and that the one. The three looks across, making that the four and that the three. And the four looks across, making that the one and that the four. And that's the solution to medieval warfare. 546 solves in 436 days. So this has been, this probably got, fe um, this almost certainly got featured on Timotab's channel, and that's perfectly fine. Um, as I said, I will provide a link to the Fast Sandals Solve playlist, which is on Timotab's channel, and you should absolutely go check out Timotab's channel. It's great. Um, and I'm really sorry that I sat on this for so long. Um, this is absolutely atrocious of me. I am going to sign off and say um, thank you very much to Far Sandals and Timotab for sending this through. And I'm really sorry for sitting on this for as long as I did. Completely unforgivable. With any luck, I will get time to record a the 4x4 and add it to the end. But in case I don't, thank you everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.
Okay, let's try the bonus puzzle, Medieval Skirmish by Far Sandals, which is the 4x4, which I've been told is a nice short little puzzle. Of course, this will be linked below. So, um, the rules are the same as for Medieval um, uh, medieval Warfare, so let's just get straight into the puzzle. So, um, minimum here is 1, 2, uh, 1 plus 2, um, and the minimum here is 1, and we're only working with the digits 1 through 4, so this has to be 1 plus 2 plus 1, so we've got a 2 here, and a one here so these must be three and four um, these therefore are two and three this has to be larger so this is three or four and this must be two or three so with the two three here this becomes the four um, these are from one two three now the yeah, the maximum I can put here is three and the minimum I can put here is one and two. So this has to be, so if I put a two, three here, this would have to be a five. So there must this must be one, two and three to keep the sum working, making this the two. Uh, this is now the three. And now I can just finish this with Sudoku because these, I have to put a one in this column. This is the one, this becomes the three, this becomes the two, this becomes the four. And that is the correct solution to the puzzle. Yep, <laughs> nice little skirmish. Compared to the previous puzzle, that one was absolutely <laughs> trivial, um, which is fine. Um, sometimes you want a nice little exercise to understand how it works. And maybe this one should have gone first, but um, the way the channel works is people don't really like this sort of puzzle, but they were part of a pair and I wanted to throw it in at the end. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, good luck with your solving.